Welcome back to 8482 Media. Today we are going over how to connect your hardware wallet to your MetaMask. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to this multicolored profile, click on it, go down to connect hardware wallet. And here it's gonna give you an option to choose what type of hardware wallet you possess. I have a Trezor, so I'm gonna click on this one, click continue. And it's gonna bring you over to this page where you can choose what type of wallet you have. So I have the migration wallet, I click on it, and now you're gonna be asked to allow permission to this device. This is asking for export approval, so you can export your wallet over to MetaMask. Click export. And now it's asking for your passphrase. I never created a passphrase for my wallet, so I will just click enter. And now you're gonna select which account you want to use. As you can see, there are many addresses and they all exist on the blockchain and are attached to your private key. However, we just wanna choose number one, which will always be on top. And you can indicate this by how much um, Ethereum you have in that wallet. So we're gonna click check, unlock. And now you have successfully connected your hardware wallet to your MetaMask. You can change which wallet you use on MetaMask by going over here and then clicking account one. And now you're back at your original MetaMask wallet. But going back here and clicking Trezor, you're back on your hardware wallet. If you want to be extra safe after using your hardware wallet on MetaMask, you're going to want to go right here and click remove account for precautionary measures. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment.